What we're hoping to achieve is to take visitors on a journey to Africa and to allow them to see a side of Africa that they would normally not see. And, to, and then also to allow the artists to speak through their art and their words. I was born in Cape Coast in Ghana and um, lived in Ghana and then traveled in, and lived in different parts of Africa. I've always felt that there's a really important story that needs to be told. And the story that needs to be told is that cultures, the world over, change over time. And Africa is no different. And to me, this is a great opportunity to show people that you know, artists did not stop producing you know, 100 years ago. They're still producing today. And what they're producing today is a reflection of who they are. There's um, one, Flaming Passions by Whiskudor. To me, it's, it's a very multi-layered painting and it, it shows um, an artist reaching a point where he's free to paint really whatever he is. You see that where he felt he needed to portray a very African identity and at some point he freed himself of those restrictions and creates whatever he feels like and Flaming Passions to me is, is a great work from that. The painting that I'm going to tell you about is the painting that you see behind me. It's called Good Return, and it's by James Cujo. James Cujo grew up with a single mother, so he's got a lot of affection for his mother. And basically what that painting is, is trying to portray is the strength of the African woman. And as you can see with the motion, it's basically representing the struggle that the African woman goes through on a daily basis. Um, you know, you can see her fighting against the wind. And that is, you know, really, you know, the whole essence about, about the painting is James uh, portraying the strength of the African woman. The African woman really is the bedrock, bedrock of the African society. Uh, so that painting is really a celebration of that. My name is James Odokujo. You know, a mother played a role in my life. And by that role that mother played, that is what has made me who I am today. Mothers in Africa play a major role in the lives of their children because they see their children as um, um, their future. So they put all they have into the future of their children. Uh, I think a way I can show my appreciation to mothers all over the world. I'm interested in people to learn uh, from my work and from my research is that African artists are contemporary artists. They're just like other artists anywhere else in the world. Kind of what I'm, I'm interested in doing is really breaking up stereotypes. African artists aren't primitive artists. They aren't set in the past. They aren't frozen in a, in a static history. And in fact, they're part of this dynamic world. And that's what these artists want us to learn. When they leave this exhibition, I want them to take with them a different view of Africa and to allow them to, to stimulate some curiosity about the continent as well as allow them to see a different side of the continent. I really want people to see a, a fresh image of Africa that they probably don't see every day. And you know, if they then go um, to get the, the desire to go to Africa to see what you know, contemporary Africa really is like, it's been successful.